Das war's. Aha. <lacht> Champion. Was? Hey, the way. Where is? Raymond. You turn off your phone all day long. All morning, afternoon, evening. Only for you to return with these two whores. <laughs> whores. Oh no, they are not whores. These are divas with lots of adipose tissues in their gluteus maximus. Huh? What about you? Do you have enough areolar cells and mammary glands in your pectoralis major like these beautiful divas? Do you? Oh no, you don't. So they are not whores. Uh, champion. Boss. Please take these divas inside. I need to explore their adipose tissues. Ladies, this way, uh, please. Find out the tangents. Shall we? Champion. Uh, don't worry, I'm coming. <laughs> All right. These people, they are, they are so ridiculous. I mean, they, they steal from us, they take our money and give it back to us for us to vote for them. It's, it's just somehow. Well, that's a very nice observation, yeah? But the masses don't care about your observation. Yeah, and that is my problem. I mean, that is my problem. How can you eat today, tomorrow you're hungry? It's, it's just a repeated circle of hardship in this country. Speak English, lady. But the masses, they don't want to hear your English. All they want to do is, give me 5k. 5k, stand in line, 5k, and then they eat fufu and vote for you, then <laughs> get hungry again, you know. Uh, that, that's crazy. It's that's actually crazy. crazy. Oh, there we go, baby. Yep. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Merci beaucoup. Wow. Thank mm -hmm. you for the ride, you know. I don't mind coming inside to ride you through the night. Hmm. So you think you're the only one that has lines now, right, baby? <laughs> All right, let's talk about it. Come inside, baby. Get out of the ride and come. I'll show you a different kind of ride inside. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, I would have loved to go. I have some more things to do. Ah, uh, just come to my house and do the work now. Ah, huh? uh, that's also not bad, but you know you guys have light issues here. Oh my God. I didn't see that coming. Like, you literally had to remind me that I'm not staying in you one know, of those. No, 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 chill. Let me talk. You literally had to remind me that I'm not staying in one of those estates that they have 24 hours electricity supply. Well, you know, that's not what I mean. Then what do you mean, babe? Okay, this is what we'll do. I'll get you a generator. Yes, and with that, I'll be able to spend the night, you know, spend some time with you. What do you think? Baby, why are you so kind? Huh? Mm -hmm. Why are you so kind like this? Look, don't worry, very soon, I promise, my game will click and I will spoil you. I'll take you around the world, I swear. But then, this game or that game, I don't know. Don't you think you're wasting your money on it? Baby, it's an investment. Look, don't say anything again, all right? Just 
Drive safely. Huh? Alright. And make sure you don't drive like John Wick or, or 007. Huh? No problem. I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bye. Catch ya. She told me you were leaving the office over three hours ago. Oh, I had to stop by Raymond's workplace and drop him off on my way home. Raymond's workplace? Mm-hmm. Baby girl, make it make sense. After all the old odogos are hovering around you, you still choose that guy. Dora, money is not everything. Mm. Money mm. is not everything. Besides, Raymond is not that broke. You just need time to grow. You think money is not everything? Did you ever hear that song? They said, love is sweet. When money enter, love is sweeter. <laughs> Did you hear the song? <laughs> money is love and what? Love is money, girl. But then, Raymond is not that bad. Uh, uh, he's not all broke. He's trying. He's not all broke. Meaning he's still broke to an extent. Partially broke. Broke is broke, girl. You that you are talking, do you have money? Do you have man? At least bring man first, then we'll visit this conversation again. Is there any food in the kitchen? <laughs> None that I know of. What lazy happened? Lazy girl. Now? I'm not lazy. I just don't like cooking. It's not my thing. Guess what? What's that? Leo is back and wants to meet you, girl. No, mm. uh, I don't do excess. Not this one, babe. You guys didn't even really break up officially. Maybe I should write an official breakup letter, then send it to his email and copy you to it so you see it. This guy still loves you. He has been apologizing ever since. Just give him another chance. Listen, Dora. I am not interested and I have a boyfriend. We're talking about a man that can take very good care of you, not that... Uh, that guy. His name is Raymond, okay? And I don't want to have anything to do with a man that ghosted me. He's so sorry and wants to do it right by you. Come on, girl. Big, 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 big. I'm busy now. Talk later. But babe, why, why would she even suggest that in the first place? Is she trying to insinuate that I'm not man enough or what? Calm down, that's not what she meant, you know that. You already know Dora is too materialistic and she she haven't realized everyone is not like her. Huh. The earlier she realized that, the better for her, honestly. Mm, yeah. Well, you know you got me, right? Always, always. You know, I love you so much, babe. You mean the world to me, baby. I know that. But how did you even become friends with that girl in the first place, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, she's a sweet girl. Hey, we you get to know her better. Hey, we. Wow. Mm. What's that? Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> I don't deal with you on that one. <laughs> Babe. Yeah? Please bring Mopsy when you're coming. I spill some water. All right. Oh. Babe, your phone is ringing, you know. Babe. Yes? Your phone is ringing. Oh, where is it? Here. Okay. <sighs> Who is it? Leo. <clears throat> ah, ah. What is no that this guy cannot understand? No, no, no. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. So he now calls you, Abby. You said he means nothing to you, and yet you entertain his calls. Babe, I do not entertain this guy's call. I have told him to stay away from me several times. Guy has refused. Stay away from me. He said no. What about the text messages, huh? 
No, no, no. What about the text messages? Because you, you claim me. no, you claim you're not in, you're not talking with him, but it's obvious you guys are still talking. Listen, if you should check these messages properly, you would realize I do not reply to them. I do not reply to them. It's it's just there. Anita, so this is what it is now, right? You and your friend, you guys are mocking me because I don't get money. That's why you're cheating on me and you're lying to my face. <laughs> Raymond, I am not cheating on you, and you know this. I don't get it. Where is, where is all this coming from? Really? Really? Babe, I don't understand you. I mean, how can you let Dora influence you like this? You guys are literally acting like whores. Es es excuse you? Raymond, of all things, you chose to call me a whore? I did not call you a whore. I said you are only... Listen up, Raymond. It's high time you stop feeling intimidated. It's high time you be a man. Be a man for once. Be a man. Wow. So, 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 I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm a woman now, right? That's, that's what you're trying to yes, tell me. Yes, you are a woman. Because at the mention of another man that is successful and rich, all your body will be shaking. All your body will just be doing somehow. You are a woman. Fine. Man up. Okay. I hear you. Okay. You made your point. I'm sorry. Excuse I'm me. sorry. I didn't mean to insult I'm you. I'm so. I'm sorry. Re, 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 hold, hold, on. hold on. I'm sorry. Go. Anita. I'm, I'm sorry. Go. 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 Doctor. Doctor, I really don't know what's going on. Doctor, my vision is very blurry. I mean, I can't see things clearly. And it feels like it's, it's just getting worse every minute. I understand you very well, Raymond. I believe me, I understand the predicament you're in. And from all indications, I think we're dealing with traumatic optic neuropathy. And no, it's no, it's <laughs> it's not yet as bad as it sounds, and I am on top of the situation. Do you understand? So I'm going to do my utmost best, even though there's still extensive tests to be carried out, but I'm going to see to it that your vision is duly regained. Thank you, doctor. I believe you, doctor. I, yes. I trust you. It's okay. Doctor, please try your best. Like I said, I will. I will. I will. So if there's anything, the nurse station, just okay. reach out to them. All right. You'll be fine. Okay. All right. Atta boy. Sorry, I didn't need to cause. Hey, no, no, baby, what are you doing? Calm down. It's not your fault. It was an accident. I know, but see, everything is going to be all right, okay? I'm pretty sure that I will leave this hospital in one piece. I know that for sure. I'm sure about that, okay? <sighs> like I, like I told you, the part of the brain tasked with vision was severely affected. But um, from the remaining tests we want to carry out, we'll be able to determine the next course of action. So, as always, I would say, just remain, remain calm. Doctor, help me. Because I can't see nothing anymore. I can't see anything. Honestly, I'm not lying to you, I swear. <laughs> Doctor, is he going blind? Uh, that's what the remaining tests are going to determine. But for me to categorically say at this point that don't let me go blind. It won't happen. Please. I won't. I won't let that happen. Please. I won't let that happen. I won't. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know it, it was my fault. I caused all of this. I'm so sorry. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know it's not your fault, right? Mm. 
No, Dora. This whole thing is my fault. It is not your fault. It is. The picture of what happened the other day is stuck in my head. I... <sighs> Baby girl, take a deep breath. He's still alive. But now blind. Don't forget to add that part. The doctor said he'll be discharged tomorrow. Good news. Now oh, you're going to have your freedom. You beat fresh air at last. And he's coming to live here with me. Mm. What? He'll be living here with you. What? What will happen to me? Dora, it's time you get your apartment. Besides, you've you've, you've caused me too, too many troubles already. Wait. So you're ready to throw away years of friendship because of that? Stranger you just met. Like, how? Dara, all thanks to you, or will I say all thanks to me, he is now blind, and all this would have been avoided if you didn't give my number to that stalker. Oh, babes, you and I know I was only looking out for you, you know. Now, That's the way it has landed me, huh? <sighs> also, I am getting married to him. You are... You are what? Wait. No, Anita, you're not doing that. Anita! I... I okay, I'm really worried about you. Who is going to take care of you? This one that you don't have a single dime to your name. Honestly, Oche. At this moment, I really wish I had a parent. But I told you now, Raymond, you, this girl ever, this girl is just bad news. She's just bad luck. No, 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 please. It was an accident, bro. Leave her out of it. This is the first time I'm going to see a blind man defending the person that made him blind. Look at yourself now. How are you any better than a vegetable right now? I will take care of you. And how you how do you plan on taking care of you? Because me, and you're not going to see me here. I already have a job. I'll be going to work. Um, well, he'll be living with me from now on. Ah. Baby. Yeah. Are you sure about this? Yes, I mean I can't abandon you now. When I I I am the main reason you're in this. No, 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 don't 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 say that. Babe, it was an accident. It's not your fault. Just make sure you have plans to take care of him. Because me, I'll be going to work. I won't be coming around. Oh, wow. He, you've gotten to work? Wow, congratulations, bro. Oh, thank you in advance. Because from the looks of it, the job is still on its way. Um, I'll be coming over later to get these things. Hope you are going to be cooking. Because he's already blind. He, he should not starve to death. Uchi, I will ah. cook. Yeah, I'm just looking out for my friend. <sighs> this way, this way, this way, this way. Take it easy. What kind of life is this? Sorry. Hey, keep, keep going, keep going. Yes, yes. Hey, easy, 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 easy. Keep. Yeah, sit, sit here. Sit, sit down, sit down. Right, I'll be back. Let me go get the rest of this stuff. Babe, you're getting this all wrong. Get him. 
What a wrong. He doesn't have to move in with you. That's wrong. Well, anyway, that's why we're going to get married and live together as a couple. You're getting married? Yes. Babe, don't you think you're doing too much? You're not the cause of the accident. Like, you can as well just send him pocket money maybe every month or something, but you don't have to get married to him. Dora, I know you've never liked Raymond, even when he had his sight intact. So I don't expect less or anything more from you right now. That's because he's an opportunist. I don't know why you fail to see. Because there is nothing to see. Hmm. Apart from how much hatred you have for him. I've just always been looking out for you. That's what I've been doing. Mm, I know. Yes, maybe you start by respecting the man I chose to be with. Okay? Besides, you're not my mother, so... Oh, wow. I see what you're doing. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just wanted to let you know I've got to my apartment. Yeah, good. Drop your address maybe someday myself and Raymond can come pay your visit, huh? Hi. Hi, babe. Do you need anything? Well, babe, you know you really should allow me to do things myself. Huh? Oh, yeah, I know, right? Look, babe. Look, it's going to help me to be independent. I know, but you know these things take time. That's right, babe. But you know, I, I at least have to start from somewhere now, Abby. Yeah, right. Just promise me you let me know whenever you need help. I promise. Baby, you know, I still have the feeling that you blame yourself for what happened to me. Um, yeah, I, I caused all this and I'm, I'm supposed no, to... No, no, babe. Listen. Listen to me. It wasn't your fault. It was an accident. An accident. It was. Okay? Promise me you'll never blame yourself ever again for it. Please. Yeah, I promise. I love you. Can I at least feel myself now? Please, yeah. please, okay. trust me. Yeah. Good. Uh, uh, easy, that's the meat. All right, all right, you have rice, you have rice on the spoon. Don't now. worry, I'll feel it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. Mm -hmm. I think we should get married. Huh? Yeah, let's get married. I mean, we already do what husband and wife do. We live together. We, we do everything already. Let's just get married already. B babe, are you really sure about this? Mm -hmm. Look, I need you to calm down and think about this. Let's get married already. So my guy, my guy, you are getting married. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> God. But wait, what I don't understand is wait, she agreed to this arrangement. Agreed? She was the one that initiated the arrangement. Eh. Because I've never heard of a situation where a woman proposed to a blind man. About how why did they talk like that? You sounded as if I've been blind from birth. My God. Look. You know I would have still married her whether I was blind or not. We've dated for two years. Sorry. My <sighs> guy. It's like this love is not for me. Oh. Because uh. I don't think I'm lucky with love at all. Bro, I ran into this your babe's friend, Anita's friend. Uh, What's that her name? That's D Dora. Dora. Guy, that girl finished me. <laughs> that, this girl is she's very rude. See. I was just, I saw her on the road, she was looking nice. You understand? I say, okay, let me go over and say hi. I say, good looking, young man. You understand? That day I was looking nice. You know that my white shirt now. You get, I walked up to her, ah, baby, you are looking nice. I tried to, you know, say hi. 
this girl had the audacity to look at her, oh, if not because of uh, one or two. <laughs> you understand? She called me a neat wit. <laughs> Can you imagine? Look, look, bro. I, I, are you sure you just said hi to her? It's obvious you, you, you actually made a pass at her, guy. Guy, leave this thing. Leave this thing. So, I cannot uh, see a fine girl and, uh, you know, do <laughs> what men do. <laughs> wow, 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 bro. Look, I have told you severally, on a serious note, Leave that girl alone. One day she's going to break your head for reals. Honestly. Uh, anyways, you remember that game that I told you that I want you to play for me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh -huh. Look, please count up. How much you be? Guy. Eh, now three five D. Three five. Eh. Ah ah. Now 5k now. Anita said it was 5k. Okay, I mean, I don't know. I swear, now 3 5 D. Eh? I'm, I'm sure she must have miscounted it. Too. Maybe oh. she was in a hurry or something. Possibly, possibly. It's all right. Anyways, um, please just use about 2 5. Since it's 3 5, use 2 5 and play the game for me. Eh? Thank you. Then you can use 1k for your transport. Oh, yeah, man. No, I had that. Thanks, man. My guy, God. guy, don't forget my court where you know. Ah, bro, I got you, bro. Don't forget. No, I'm good to be on my way now. All right, my guy. Thank you so much. I all appreciate right. you. Thank you. All right. Thank you no for always coming man. around. My guy. You the funny man. Come on here. I still can't believe that you are going ahead with this wedding. Oh, whatever. So am I seeing you on Saturday at the court? I have a seminar next week in Ibadan, so I won't be around. Hmm. Oh, you don't want to come for my wedding because I'm marrying Raymond. Or oh, maybe you're avoiding his friend, don't you? Whatever, girl. That's me to it. I ran into him some days ago. Trust me now. I gave it to <laughs> him hot hot. <laughs> really? He's supposed to know how much you hate him. I mean, he should just give you space. I mean, not to talk of making passes at you. <laughs> he doesn't know his type, obviously. Anyways, not like you, like you, not keep person. Inoki you know, person. <laughs> so what are you saying about my wedding now? Baby girl, look, I'll make it up to you once I come back from Ibada. Mm. Are you sure? That is a promise. Hold me, hold me, hold me on that. Okay, no problem. Mm, take care. Don't break my soul. Don't break my these kids kind of have superpowers. Uh, what, what kids? Oh, sorry. Oh, you, you forgot I I'm can't. Sorry. See, you forgot I can't see what you're saying. No, 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 it's fine. No, 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 I forget. <laughs> yes, who is it? Oh, let me go check. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Uche, Uche, how are you doing? Fine, how are you? You're welcome. How are you now? I'm fine. How are you? Right. <laughs> how is this job hunting going? My dear, huh? getting a job in this country is something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me leave you guys to catch up. I will be in my room. Sky uh. Alpha now. Adi. What are you doing here now? What do you mean, what am I doing here? Did I ask you to come? My God. Are you the one who asked me to come and collect money to go and play game for you? <sighs> but we did not talk about coming today now. <sighs> Let me be going now. Ah, ah, calm down now. Can someone not joke with you again? <laughs> you know that my wife doesn't really like this whole gambling thing, Sha. Uh, maybe she's right now. Come on, dear Jerry. How far now? Oh God, give me the money, I beg. I get one very serious appointment. Which you don't carry your appointment to achieve. <laughs> this man. Wait till bring that kind of insult. Come now. No, no, be insult. Now my man, you be now. I just they play with you. Just. <laughs> Uche, my man.
Na 5,000 be this one. Yes, yes. Correct. Oh, yeah, nah, guy. So, uh, no juice, nothing. Ah, uh, no, leave him now for married people. Go marry. Wow. No wahala. No one. My guy. I'm sure kuna. All right, brother. Later now. Take care. Hi. Uchi. Uchi has left. He said he had somewhere to go to. Uh -uh. He's actually more busy than those that have a job. <laughs> and I wanted to make something for you guys to eat. Nah. It's not here anymore. Babe, there's something I need to talk to you about. Uh, what is it, my love? Um, this um, gambling, ga gambling thing you do, I, I don't know. I really do not like it because I feel you waste your money on it. You just put in money and it's 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 eating up all your money. Babe, it's not really gambling. It's uh, lottery, lotto. Lottery, lotto. That one you did you do on your phone. All those still these things are gambling. I don't like it. But listen, I understand you, but oh, you do remember that you give me money once in a while. You remember the last time I won thirty-four thousand naira. Thirty-four thousand. After after spending how much, or after losing how much? Please, what do you want to eat? Anything you give me. A plantain? Ah, ah. What are you doing? Babe. Ah, ah. Calm down. I'm trying. I don't get it. You can mistakenly burn down the whole house like this. No, I'm just trying to make something for you. Calm down. You know I've mastered my environment. You don't have to bother, okay? The kitchen is my duty, okay? Not your area of work. Thank you. I'll come back to make breakfast. Babe, can't hmm? I be romantic again? Oh, no. There are other ways to be romantic. Can a blind man not be romantic? Mr. Romantic, <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Can... Baby. Let's go. I now. got this. Just trust hey, hold me. It, hold it, hold okay. it. Thank you, Mr. Romantic. <laughs> Babe, I was. Diff... Mr. Romantic, thank you. I'll make breakfast for you. Hey, what we'll make you all have been waiting for? This year is the announcement of the 200 million marriage jackpot winner. Number 22. Congratulations to whoever has the ticket number 22 because you are a multi millionaire. Baby! Baby! Yes? Bring my love my love ticket. We had a visitor. There's a car parked outside. It's yours. It's a lie. It's a, it's a lie. Why ah! <laughs> 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 didn't you tell me? Look, Anita, <laughs> when we got married, a lot of people were scared. They thought you would frustrate me because of my condition. <laughs> Anita, you proved them wrong. You've been nothing but amazing. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you for being awesome, being caring, being patient. Look, I promise you that as long as it's within my capability, your life will be very smooth and enjoyable. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you so Love much, you. baby. Thank you. I mean, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
Wow, wow, wow. My goodness, baby girl. This is beautiful. All right. Like, you mean Raymond actually bought this house? Yes, son, in my name. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> I hope you saw that car outside when you were coming in. I saw it. Mm -hmm. That's mine. You don't mean it. Like, I don't know what to say. Mm. Baby <laughs> girl. But I still don't understand something. Like, how does a man go to bed poor? And wake up wealthy in the morning. Like who does that? A blind jobless man went to bed poor and woke up in Milonia hmm. in the twinkle of an eye. How? First, don't call my husband that. My and secondly, well, he won a lotto of over 200 million naira. 200 million naira? <laughs> Even know what to say. Yeah, I understand. I understand. You don't know what to say. <laughs> You're overwhelmed, right? Wow. Yeah, you shouldn't have anything to say, obviously. Like, I, stop it. <laughs> I'm super proud of you, girl. Thank you. But you are a landlady. Mm -hmm. And you have a car of your own. And you have money, girl. Are you seeing what I've been telling you? I said, money is not everything. Money is not everything. I told you, be patient. Suffer with a man. You know, go through ticks and tents together. Do tents together. But you said, you, you, you your own is money, 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 money. It's okay. Calm down. Mm. Motivational speaker. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I am hungry. What's my food? Uh -uh. I'll take this for starters. You know now, I got you covered. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, hello? Mm hmm This is Anita. What? What happened? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. How, 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 how is he? Where is he? How is he doing? Is he okay? Is he... Okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. Hmm? Baby girl, what's wrong? Are you fine? <laughs> they just called me my dad. The doctor said he had a stroke due to increase in his blood pressure. I don't understand. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I hope he's doing better now. Oh, doctor said he's fine, but I think I need to go see him. I mean, maybe bring him over or just, just see him. I don't know. I mean, my dad is the most important person in my life apart from my husband. Oh, yeah, it's going to be husband. It's as good as having no one. What did you say? Nothing. I said I'm not part of the important people in your life now. Come on now. You've removed me from this. <laughs> Come on. You know that's not what I mean. You know how important you are to me, my friend. Come on. The thing is, tomorrow I think I just have to go home and see him or probably bring him to come stay with me so I can, you know, take good care of him. Ah, Girl, don't worry. He'll be fine. Okay? He's crazy. Mm -hmm. He's going to be okay. <laughs> So how is he doing? Well, the doctor said he's fine. But then I think I need to travel to see him. But I'm worried about you. Who are you worried about me? How will you take care of yourself when I'm gone? Don't worry about me. I told you I've almost mastered my environment. Huh? Mm, I know. You should but go then, and see him. Yeah, but then... I'm planning on bringing him over so I can spend time and take care of the two of you. Oh, sure, sure. I mean, you should do that already if you think that's necessary. I mean, he's your dad. That means he's my dad too, so he's always welcome. Oh. <laughs> that's why I love you. Thank you. I love you even more, my Sherry. Mm. I love you so much. Daddy, now that you're here, you're going to take your medicine every day. I am not going to miss out any day. You'll take every single day. And also, Daddy, please leave whiskey. Whiskey should leave you. Mm. I don't want to see you taking alcohol in this house. Please. Alcohol is out of it. Oh. Hi, my love. Hey, sugar. Oh. 
My son. <laughs> Daddy. How are you? Yeah, thank you, Mr. I'm Ray. good, sir. Oh. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. How are you uh, doing? I'm fine. Uh, just battling with old age. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the first time my dad is agreeing that he's old. Hmm. This illness must really be something else. <laughs> you know, um, these geriatric conditions have a way of reminding you that you're not as young as you used to think. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I'm a clear case study of that. <laughs> but I, I thank God for his life. Oh, sure. Thank God. Oh, so, my son, how have you been coping? Well, what can I say? Thank God. My wife has been amazing. Yeah. Honestly, she's an apt example of the Proverbs 33 woman. Really? Honestly. Okay, okay, guys. Let me leave you to, to catch up while I go prepare something before my head blows off. <laughs> yeah. ah. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. I have a lot to talk about with Raymond. Ah, I know. Politics, like we always yeah. talk about. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's welcome. Right. Welcome. See. Even the masses you are trying to protect, they don't care about themselves. <laughs> you see, Daddy, that was the same thing I was telling him. I said, how will you be trying to protect people that don't care about themselves? Mm -mm. I don't think they don't care about themselves. I think their problem is information. They're not informed. Knowledge. Well, if you say so. Anyways, I hope you guys don't spend the whole day discussing politics. I've got work to get to. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> well, what should a jobless old man be doing then? <laughs> yes, uh, yes. And you know it's been a while we, you know, mm. discussed. My dear. <laughs> wow. It's good to have you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm. I know my daughter won't uh, be happy seeing you doing this. I know she won't be. But that this helps me clear my head. Even when my eyesight was still intact, I like to do chores on my own, stroll a lot. It's just unfortunate that I can't stroll anymore because of my condition. Yeah, I understand, you know. Even as an old man, yeah, there are certain things I, I would have loved to do, but life happens. <laughs> I understand. But Dad, you know that Yours is even better, because at least when you were young, you had your sight. Not like me that I'm young and I can't even enjoy my life. Oh. <laughs> you can say that again. Uh, I had fun, you know. I was a very handsome man, you know. And uh, they call me the ladies man. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, every lady would want to have her way, you know, around me. <laughs> well, uh, now I see where Anita got her good looks from. Oh, yeah. From me, of course. You know, those days they call me the love. And I had a lot of fun. But uh, I made a lot of mistakes. You know, and uh, today I'm regretting them. Sometimes I feel and I wish I could, you know, turn the hand of time to correct those mistakes. And all the money that I made in those periods, I made a bad investment. And uh, today they are all gone. I lost everything. I got into politics and you know what politics is like. You know, you have to have money before you can be recognized. Uh, but I'm happy. I have hope. There is this uh, good friend of mine, you know, he's campaigning for the governorship of the state. And uh, he has promised me a big political position in the state. Well, I'm so happy for you, sir. I hope he wins. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank How you. did you do this? I mean, the plates and everything. I was expecting that you break some of the plates. 
no, no. <laughs> you know I have to be useful. So I've already trained myself to master my environment to a mm. very great extent. Wow. You know, I told you about my escapades as uh, a young bachelor. Honestly, it was really crazy. Even when I had my sight intact, I couldn't even attempt half of those. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't even advise anyone to. There was this uh, older lady that I dated back then. A very beautiful single mother with a son. She was very rich. She loved me so much. So what happened? Um, I was just with her for the money. I never loved her. Um, love never mattered to me. I was just having fun, you know. Love meant nothing to me. You know, she had money. A lot of it. Uh, of course, she was my perfect prey. Yeah, I can say. She trusted me so much. But one day, I lied to her about buying out a company and, uh, you know, needing her help financially and that I will pay her back in a month's time. Um, over a 200 million naira. Oh, wow. Yeah. She had that kind of money? Mm, not all of it. Um, she brought um, 120 million and, uh, you know, from her account. Yeah, I remember. And um, she was able to raise the rest from a bank. You know, she was a manager in an insurance company and she knows how the system works. So what happened? I disappeared with the money. I changed my line, changed my location. In fact, I moved to Ghana from Nigeria. God, I was a big boy, I thought to myself. So um, the, the, the business didn't push through? Of course, there was no business or company anywhere, you know. She trusted me so much that she was blinded by love. Uh, Claudia died of heart attack as a result of that incident, leaving her only son. I've never been pained in my life the way I felt when I heard the news of her death. I wished I could undo what I did. I learned the boy was taken to an orphanage home and was later adopted by a family in Enugu. That boy was, I think, 13 years old. Uh, Cutting Claudia was the greatest mistake of my life and I regretted it. I wish I could meet that boy so I can apologize. What, what, what did you say was the name of the insurance uh, company again and when exactly did this happen? Yeah, she was the manager in Treasure Insurance Company, and this thing happened around 20 years ago, yeah, you know. I, I know I was responsible for Claudia's death. Maybe if I get opportunity to be in heaven, I will apologize to her, yeah, because I know she will be in heaven. She was just a sweet soul. Yeah, I need to, I need to go in and use the restroom at this point. 
I have to go inside. It's okay. It's okay. Let me not bore you with all this lengthy story. It's okay. Why I was trying to call you the other day on Thursday. Mm. I was saying, till now, Chike has not made those deliveries. And the woman keeps calling, she will call, she will send messages, and she's she's up. Ah, ah, hi, Uche. <laughs> ah, ah, it's been a while. Anita. The Ooh. way you are just looking fine these days. Oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> well, thanks to my husband. <laughs> yeah. <We> don't go. <laughs> so you came to visit us today. My dear, I was in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Then I figured that I have not seen people in a while. Mm. So I said, let me, and more importantly, my yoga, he asked to see me. Hey, that she would... Now that you've said it, because <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Hey, hey, enough of all these unnecessary police entries. Um, um, babe, are, are you okay? My son, is everything okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Uche. So uh, I'll talk to the account manager to make the transfer of 20 million naira to you, as I promised. Hey! hey, hey. My daddy! <laughs> Richest man in Africa! Uche, you're very funny. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> please, don't forget to reach out to the agency so that they can make provision for the bodyguard that we talked about. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely. I'll make the calls now. Okay. Bodyguard? What for? You will soon find out. Uche, did, did anybody try to kill or kidnap him? I, mean, I don't know what to tell you, honestly, because from, from what it looks like, I think he just wants to be going out more often now. So, and I can understand why he needs a bodyguard in his condition. Okay, okay, but at least he should have spoken to me about it. The, the whole sudden bodyguard thing is somehow, he didn't talk to me about it. Eh? That's why I think you should have a conversation with him. I mean, because since I came, he has been looking very angry. So I'm not sure it's you. Maybe there's something bothering him that he's not saying. My daughter, don't worry yourself, okay? He will still come around. You know he's a man. Sometimes we are like that. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah. All we need at that moment is just our space. Okay? Okay. You see, that is right. Yeah, Thank you, fine. sir. All right? <laughs> <laughs> uche, uche! <laughs> Alpha now, yes, bring yeah. pepper soup I'm now. I'm and coming. a cold bottle I'm of uh, salt. I'm coming, I'll be right back. I'm coming. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, better be what's depriving me of my sleep, oh. Um, Raymond, I want us to talk about us. I mean, the way you acted this this afternoon, I really didn't understand. You know, you giving your friend money, let alone getting a bodyguard. You, you never wait, 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 spoke wait. to me about any of it. So, 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 I should, uh, I should take permission from you before I make any decision, or even if I can give my friend money. Raymond, you know, that's not what I mean. I mean, you know, maybe you just should have discussed it with me. I'm not against you helping your friend, giving your friend money, but I'm your wife. So I was expecting you, you, you talk to me about- You are saying the same thing. You are saying the same thing. So I have to literally carry all my plans and my, and my, and my proposed decisions and bring it to your table to vet before I can proceed. Raymond, you're getting it all wrong. I mean, we're one big family white team. 
Anita. Would you, would you just stop this nonsense? Don't try this again. You know how difficult it is for a blind man to find sleep? And yet I, I managed to find one and you're, you're, you're interrupting me for, for no reasonable reason. Don't try this nonsense again, please. I have to, I have to look, start looking for sleep again. Nonsense. Hmm. You like it? Mm, very delicious. <laughs> wow. No, mama, you taught me how to cook. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you learned well. <laughs> I was focused. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Where's my food? Oh babe, are you going out this morning? Hi son, how are you? How was your night? Talking to you. Close. What kind of wickedness is this? Why do you have to do that? You, you, you're still sitting there and asking me useless, useless questions, right? You want to kill me? Why give me such a hot food? But you should have told her rather than spewing the food on her. Excuse me, sir. This is family business. Me and my wife, not your business, sir. Anita. He's my husband and I need to attend to what his needs. Anita, come back here. Abe, come back here and sit down. Ah, what do he want? Anita, go in there and get me something else to eat. Maybe something that's not going to burn my tongue this time around. Anita, come back here. Sir, the stock market really went up and your investment made over a hundred million naira profits. <laughs> wow, that's, that's very good news. Well, uh, there's this startup that I'm even considering to invest in. Okay. Yeah, it's a, a company that deals with uh, food manufacturing and processing. I heard it's quite profitable. That really sounds good. Yeah. But then I have a question about your nest of kin. Oh, I knew you were going to ask. Well, I intentionally removed my wife as my nest of kin. But she's the only relative you have. Oh, come off it. She's just my wife, nothing else. I mean, it's my money at the end of the day, so I decide what to do with it. I've decided to wheel all my assets to the orphanage. Wow. Yeah, I grew up there, so I know how difficult it is there. Okay. Good day, ma'am. Yeah, good day. Uh, honey, I'm on my way to the salon to make my hair, and then I'll stop by the hospital to pick my dad. He should be done by then. That's all right. I'll just make sure you come back on time. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, 
these rich kids, they don't at all, they don't value, they don't value money because they have not suffered before. So I'd rather, you know, give it to the orphanage. I need your father to leave my house. Hmm? Why? Because he has overstayed his welcome here. Where do you want him to go? Hmm? I can't send him home. Who will take care of him? I do not care where he's going from here. I just know that I want him to leave my house. And that's final. What's happening? What, what's really going on? What, what's going on? Anita, can I ask you a question? Sure. Why did you make me blind? Hmm? You know you're the cause for my predicaments. So I'm asking you again. Hmm? Why exactly are you doing this to me? Why? Tell me this is what you're going through because that idiot now has small children. I can't even explain how it's going anymore. What surprises me the most is how Raymond just changed all of a sudden. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Is that suddenly you're saying now that puts me off my mood? What do you mean by he just changed all of a sudden? He has always been like that. You know, it just took him having money to bring out the true colors. Yes. India, that's not even the case. The problem now is he wants my father to leave, knowing his condition. And it... Oh. Oh, like, I've always known Raymond. He's a selfish person. But then, where does he want your father to go? Dora, he said he does not care. Believe me when I say he really, really, really does not care. Baby girl, what are you going to do now? Now? I, I honestly do not know, but I don't know. I'll try talking him out of it this evening when I get home. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. <sighs> Mommy, why are you crying? I'm not crying. Something just entered my eye. I think it was an insect or something. Fine. What is he still doing in my house? I thought I told you that I don't want to see him here again. Raymond, come on, please, calm down. He's sick and I need to take care of him. I do not care about him or his health. He needs to leave my house at once. Wait, let's outside. Oh, I see what you're doing. And I see the reason why you made me blind. So that when I talk, you talk. You take advantage of me, you disrespect me, you literally reduce me to a vegetable. Listen to me, your plans have failed. Now, I want your father to leave my house at once. Five minutes. Five minutes. 
That's all he has to leave my house. Do you understand? Whoever the gods wish to destroy, they first of all make mad. Daddy, I don't understand him anymore. I don't know him anymore. My daughter, stop crying. Okay? There is nothing to understand about a proud man. Hello? Yeah, Dora. Are you home? Alright. Alright, I'm bringing my father to you now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I wanna feel me, but I lost all my magic. Life is getting hella cold. Oh, show me your mercy. Light up my life. Don't break my soul, baby. Don't break my mind. Show me your mercy. What what is this? But, but you said you wanted swallow this evening, so I made Gary for you. But I said I wanted swallow. You you now brought stone for me. Huh? Oh, no, you brought stone for me. Is it that there's not enough water to, to make the swallow? But babe, this Gary is okay now. It's not as, as strong as, as, as you're saying it. So you're not calling me a liar. You're calling... No, no, no. I, I see what you're trying to do. You want to kill me, right? Babe. Maybe not! I, I'm talking and you're talking. Absolutely no respect for your husband. I wonder how, how I even married you in the first place. Firstly, you cheated on me. Then made me blind. Then, at my most vulnerable state, you, you proposed marriage. Ah, wow. In fact, you had this very, very planned out. You needed a dog to toy with. Hmm? Listen to me. If you cannot take care of me, let me know. Just let me know already. I'll look for someone that will take care of me and I'll pay them. Or better still, I'll marry, marry a more reasonable wife who has the capacity to, to, to take care of me. Champion? Boss. Uh, please, go get me something. Buy me something, something edible. Something I can, I can chew on. Not, not, not stone or rock. Sure, boss. Thank you. Do you have to go... Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> okay, okay, what do you want to eat? I'll make anything for you. What do you want? <laughs> Thank you for coming. I have somewhere I need to be now. Yeah, I knew it was urgent. Um, so he will take uh, in the, in, take it in the morning after breakfast and the last thing at night. Okay. This. Yeah, so I wait, wait, wait. What happened to your face? Oh, oh, this. Uh, it was an accident. It's not serious. Did that monster do this to you? It was an accident. I just said that. Let it go. Please. Else what? I should let what go. Look at what he did to your face and you're asking me to let it go. That blind idiot did this to you. Wait, wait, wait. You come to my house to insult me? Huh? Is it because of this cat on of me? Believe me. Let me face this idiot. Is it because of this cat on of me house? You did this to my friend. You lay your hand on her. No wonder you got blind. What are you talking about? Who told you I hit your friend? I lost my sight. Or your friend made me lose my sight. Huh? I wonder how you two perpetrated this evil. First of all, you hooked her up with her ex and she cheated on me. Next day, she made me lose my sight. And you're telling me rubbish. I need you to leave my house at once. If I don't leave, what will happen? Dora, whatever you call yourself, leave my house at once. I said else what? What will you do? Jump no, tell me what you will do now. I don't Dora, Dora. Dora. Leave, please, come on. Leave me alone. Jump you where are you? Come and be going. I'm not going anywhere. She stop this nonsense. I don't like what you do. Dora. Champion. 
I want that beef out of my house. Lady, move or remove your choice. I don't understand. That's why. Don't move out. Move out. Let me carry my bag. Let me carry my bag. Don't touch me. Don't. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Woman, give me my bag. Anita, what was that? Anita, you told, you told her I hit you. Oh, but my father oh, is in the house. Oh, oh, I don't oh, want you oh, anywhere around that girl anymore. Anita, come to my house and insult me because I am blind. Leave me alone. Where's my stick? Give me my stick, Let's champion. Let's get you a seat. Let's get you a seat. That's it. That's it. I stick. There you go. Where are you going? So work, Raymond. I want you to quit after today. What? B but I'm due for promotion. Why should I resign? When I ask you to quit, you quit. Just stop questioning me. Raymond, I am not questioning your orders. I have been working for years. It's not going to be easy on me. Champion? Boss? Give it to her. He has it? Yes, boss. Okay. So, that's your resignation letter. What? Yes, I had it arranged for you just in case it was going to be difficult for you to write yourself. So all you need to do now is just to submit it. Raymond, even if I have to quit, I need to give the company at least one month's notice. I can't just resign. I've been working hard for years. Come on, I can't just I am quit. I done with this conversation. <clears throat> Baby girl, I'm so sorry about yesterday. No, it's fine. You were only looking out for me. Oh, it's not fine. I escalated things and I feel so bad about it. No, you didn't. I hope he didn't hit you again. Well, no, but he just woke up this morning and asked me to quit my job. Wait. That bastard asked you to quit your job. Does he want to enslave you? You know what? I just wish he would sleep and not wake up again, like ever again. Don't say such prayers for my husband. Listen, this is just a phase and it will pass. I mean, marriages go through their own phase, right? Anita, can you just shut up and stop saying this rubbish you're uttering from your mouth? Open your eyes and see. You're not the blind one here. Dora, see. It is just the devil trying to play fast one on me. This will pass. I trust God. Anita. Um, well, I will try and talk to Uche to see if we can talk some senses into him. Oh, I pray. I pray so. Well, um, tell my father I'll come see him tomorrow. I need to go home early today. Baby girl, I just hope you know what you're doing staying in this marriage. Well, I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. Life is getting hella cold. Oh. Anywhere the demons are trying to rotate my marriage to the wrong way. Father, rotate it to the right way. Father, evil ones will not see me. Father, my marriage will not crumble. My marriage will not crumble. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I stand today to rebuke every evil arrow that is pointing to my marriage. That has my husband into what he is today. Father, I break every yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. Abba, Father, take control. Abba, Father, take control in the mighty name of Jesus. Evil will not see my husband. Evil will not see my marriage. Father, I put this marriage in your hands. Heavenly Father, take control. Anita. Lord, take control. Anita. Get me something. I want to eat, please. I'm okay, babe. Let me just finish my prayers. I'll go make food. I did not ask you if you're okay. Get me something to eat. You want to finish your prayers? Am I, am I not a believer too? Get me something to eat, please. I just want to conclude my prayers and... So, so, so now I'm an idol worshipper, right? No, no, no. That's not what I mean. Anita, stop this nonsense and get me something to eat, please.
<laughs> like a blind man cheating yeah. on you. Mm -hmm. Why is that done? That is not even my problem. My problem is if he uses condom. It's, it's just crazy. Wait, you still let him go down on you? Like, with you? I mean, he's my husband. And he has the right to perform his conjugal rights. Mm. But, but then most times when I'm not in the mood, he takes advantage of me. He forces himself on me. It's, it's... Look, I need to enjoy my conjugal rights. I'm not in the mood, please. It's, it's... I am not in the mood. But, Stop it! But you are my wife. Stop it, Raymond. Why are you doing this? You know I kept telling you that this guy was just pretending. He was hiding under the umbrella of being broke. Imagine he had a sight. What would he have done to you? I have begged him. I have prayed. I have talked to his friends to, to help me talk to him on my behalf. I have done everything. I, I just don't know. I just don't know where everything went wrong. Okay, how about his family? Like his relatives? Well, according to him, he said his parents died. Yes. And then his relative abandoned him and grew up in a foster home. Hmm. Little wonder why he's behaving like a wild animal. Like, how could you even think of settling down with somebody who doesn't have a father figure? How? No, I didn't know he was going to turn out like this. I mean, he was a sweet guy. I, I never knew he would turn out like this. Baby girl, there's so many men out there, tons of them. Good looking, smart, wealthy men that have substance out there waiting for you. What are you doing? Dora, cheating on my husband is not an option. He can cheat on you and then it's fine. Are hmm? you saying I divorce him? Oh, well. Babe, the door is locked. I know I locked it. Then go back to wherever you're coming from. Oh, it's late. Where do you want me to go back to? I'm just coming back from work. Don't even disturb me. I told you to quit that job, but you disobeyed me. You think I don't know you're sleeping with your boss? Babe, come on. Come on. I'm not sleeping with anybody and you know that. Please don't disturb me. It's fine now. I've told you what to do. Anita, what's going on? Why are you sitting on the floor? Your friend locked me outside because I refused to quit my job. He asked you to quit your job? Hmm. Honestly, I have been going through a lot in this house. I don't know my husband anymore. He's now toxic. He's... I, I, I just can't place it. I, I don't know. I... Anita, I'm so sorry. I don't understand why Raymond would go to such extent to treat you this way. I promise I'm going to talk some sense into him. You're sure he's inside this house? Yeah, he's inside. Yes, yes, Raymond. Yeah, I'm at the door. Okay. Raymond, why would you live outside? This is very unfair. Uche, did you bother to ask her where she's coming from? It doesn't explain why you would lock somebody outside. 
so I shall allow my wife to be prostituting up and down and then come back to me whenever she feels like. Prostituting? Really? You asked her to quit her job. Everything this girl has done was to love and support you. Even before you became blind. And now you treat her like trash because you have money. Uche, look, this is my private affair and I hate third parties. Oh, so now I'm now the third party. Wow. Uche, the meeting is in one hour. Are you going to continue ranting or you will sit your ass down so we'll talk about the deal? Hmm? Raymond, this is bad behavior. This is very unfair. That's the way I want it to be from hands. Do you understand, champion? Yes, sir. Concerning your remuneration, I have asked you to triple it. Okay? I appreciate you, boss. It's fine. Thank it's you fine. very much. You're welcome. Where, where, where do you think you're going? Um, uh, I, I have been really sick and I need to go to the hospital to get some drugs. Anita, hands forth. You will not leave this house for any reason. You are prohibited from leaving this house. If you need anything, you talk to Champion. He will get it for you. Is that understood? Raymond, I am not a medical doctor. Neither do I even know the drugs I'll be needing. And besides, I need to go to the hospital so I can run some tests. Like I said, you will go nowhere. Do you understand? <laughs> Raymond. At this point, everything you're saying does not make sense. There is no atom of sense in everything you're saying. Champion! Huh? Yeah, take her. Ah! Champion, ah! easy! Champion! Ah! Champion, take it easy! Lock her inside that room. Don't let her go anywhere, but take it easy! Easy with my wife! Anita, let this be the last time you would ever disrespect me like this again. Raymond, all I have ever done was love you. I, I gave you my heart. I gave you everything I had. And you choose to treat me this way. Listen, I am going to divorce you. I am going to leave you. Remember, you're the reason why I'm blind, right? You're going nowhere. You belong here with me. And look, you can't even try to kill me because there are CCTV cameras everywhere. Raymond, I am going to divorce you. I am leaving you. And I will go somewhere far away and I will never come back. No, no. You would do no such things. Don't forget this. For better, for worse. Champion! Yes, boss. What are you still doing here? You're not ready yet. I'm ready, boss. Just I'm not expected to be in the car now. Champion, I'm late. I'm running late. I'm here, boss. Just trying to gather everything you need. Go to the car. Easy, boss. I, I, can, I, I know my way around it. I have mastered using this. Apologies. Just go to the car. Just go to the car.
the door. I was just cleaning and I, I realized the door was open. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I, 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 should, I should park? Well, what if it's outside? What if it's a trap? What do you want me to do? She's going to kill me. Hello, Dora. Are you outside? Yes, where are you? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Are you looking for something? Champion. Yes, boss. Where is my iPad? Oh, my center uploaded, but I think I might have dropped it when we're trying to get all those things out. You think you might have dropped it? How can you be so careless? My apologies, boss. Turn back already, turn back already. My apologies. Um, I'll just turn over there and... Um... Turn back. You, you know that my iPad reads my Word documents for me. And I have a meeting. How am I supposed to read? Okay, boss. I'm so sorry. We're just around the corner, so we'll be home in no minute. Champion, don't do this again. Yes, boss. Anita, so you felt you can just run off without my permission? I paid him off, boss. Good. You're very stubborn. Like father, like daughter, like mother, like son. Stubborn daughter of a very wicked father. I can't believe you planned all this. Yes, I did. I planned it and I'll do more next time that you try this kind of a thing. Champion. Boss. Is she tied? Yes, boss. Please untie her. Show sure, boss. Anita, after you're untied, you will go upstairs, freshen up and come and attend to your husband. Make me dinner. After all, I'm your husband. Champion. Also collect her phone. Sure, huh? Boss. Yes. So how how do I talk to my father? You are not going to be contacting anyone. Hence. If anybody wants to speak to you, and they can talk to you using my phone. After all, we are one. Are we not? Good, we are. I promise you, Raymond, you will regret this. Till then. Don was phone and the ropes. It's fine. Raymond, 
You're sitting here eating. Dora just called me and told me your wife has been kidnapped. What's happening? Um, hi, Uche. Anita, what, she do? what are you doing here? You're asking my wife what she's doing in her home. Raymond, I hope this is not one of your okay. pranks. Okay. Did you kidnap your wife? Call it whatever you want to call it. I just needed my wife back home and I made that happen. What's, yeah, what is... Yeah, I'm fine, don't worry. Uche, sit down. Hold on. What is, what's happening? Um, yeah, Uche, have a seat. I'll go get you breakfast. Sit down, Uche. This is really confusing. Raymond, do you want to explain what's happening here? Uche, sit down. Sit down. Hmm? Hmm? Champion. Boss. Fetch my wife, please. Right away. Officers. Yes, sir. Uh, you sure you don't care for drink, juice, or water or something? No, sir. You know you guys are always under the sun. That's what I'm asking. No, we're on official duty, sir. Okay, then. Champion, please make it quick. Yes, yes sir. Oh. Oh, good day, officers. Good day, ma'am. We got an information that your husband kidnapped you from your friend's house. No, he didn't. I mean, um, yesterday I went to my friend's house to visit my father, uh, of which I returned home last night to my husband. I mean, why would he do that? That was all. He didn't kidnap me. We, we are very sorry for disturbance. Oh, no, 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 no. It's fine. I believe you're doing your job. You must have been acting on wrong information or something. Yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. okay, we'll be on our way now. Uh, at this point, don't you think you want to have something? Juice? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Look, I, I have a very specially made sausage in my <laughs> kitchen. Okay. Thank you very much. My regards then, uh, greet your DPO for me. Oh, right. Tell him that Raymond. Oh, okay. Just tell him Raymond. <laughs> okay, bye-bye, sir. I'll come and see him very soon. Yes, sir. Upstairs. Huh? Upstairs. Um... Champion, boss, get me whiskey. You want it strong? Huh? Do you want it strong? No, 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 just um, mouth. Come in right up. Anita, my daughter, the policeman I sent to your house told me you denied being kidnapped by that monster. Anita, what is going on? Why are you so scared of leaving a man who treats you like a leper? Is it guilt? Do you still feel guilty about his condition? If that is the case, then take solace to the fact that you have been there enough for him. You have loved Raymond more than life itself. And if you do not leave him before it is too late, you might live to regret it for the rest of your life. Please, don't let the guilt destroy you. I love you, my daughter. Uh, doctor, doctor, is there a problem? Please, why can't I see my wife? Huh? Mr. Raymond, she clearly refused seeing you. But, but, but doctor, she's my wife. I mean, I'm her husband. Please. Mr. Raymond, you have to understand that your wife attempted suicide. She's in a very dark place mentally. And if you want to be supportive of her, then you have to abide by her wishes. Else she might be pushed to attempt suicide once more. And that's not what we want. Okay. Doctor, it's fine. Please, but what, what can I do? Please. Please. Please, doctor. How can I be alive and a good for nothing idiot be treating my daughter like this? Does he realize it is me, the law? Oh, if not because of what happened to me, I would have shown that idiot. What else do you want to show me? I ask you, what else do you want to show me that you have not shown me? You heartless man. Tell me! What do you want to show me that you have not shown me before after you murdered my mom? 
What rubbish are you talking about? I am Claudia's son. What? Claudia? Daddy, who is Claudia? After you duped my mom and took away everything that she ever had, then you ran away. She was depressed, intensely depressed. That was the moment that I lost her because she never recovered from the shock that you made her go through until she died. You made her lose everything, everything she ever worked for. She lost her mind. She lost money, her job, her sanity, her mind, her wealth, her properties that the banks kept taking because of the loans that she took because of you. The people she was owing, they kept harassing her left, right, front, back. Her last days on earth were full of pain and misery. No one came to claim me as a relative or anything. My mom had absolutely nobody. She was an orphan herself. She was an orphan that worked for every single thing that she had that you took away from her. So, I was taken in by an orphanage. After a while, the family adopted me. Then I went through hell. I was molested by male, female, <laughs> to the extent that I, I became confused about my sexuality. I became homeless. I lived on the streets for a long time. While you, you were busy lavishing, enjoying the wealth of my mother with your golden daughter. I wished to meet you. I prayed. I, I longed. I longed to see you, to meet you. I wanted revenge. But coincidentally, you worked into my trap by yourself the very day that you started telling me about the escapades that you made as a young man. There was this uh, older lady that I dated back then. A very beautiful single mother with a son. She was very rich. She loved me so much. I was just with her for the money. I never loved her. Um, love never mattered to me. I was just having fun, you know. You know, she had money. A lot of it. Uh, of course, she was my perfect prey. Yeah, I can say. She trusted me so much. But one day, I lied to her about buying out a company and, uh, you know, needing her help financially and that I will pay her back in a month's time. Um, over a 200 million naira. Oh wow, yeah. she had that kind of money? Mm, not all of it. Um, she brought um, 120 million and, uh, you know, from her account. Yeah, I remember. And um, she was able to raise the rest from a bank. You know, she was a manager in an insurance company and she knows how the system works. So what happened? I disappeared with the money. I changed my line, changed my location. 
In mm. fact, I moved to Ghana from Nigeria. God, I was a big boy, I thought to myself. So, um, the, the, the business didn't push through? Of course, there was no business or company anywhere, you know. She trusted me so much that she was blinded by love. Claudia died of heart attack as a result of that incident. Yeah. Leaving her only son. I've never been pained in my life the way I felt when I heard the news of her death. I wished I could undo what I did. I learned the boy was taken to an orphanage home and was later adopted by a family in Enugu. That boy was, I think, 13 years old. Uh, hurting Claudia was the greatest mistake of my life and I regretted it. I wish I could meet that boy so I can apologize. What, what, what did you say was the name of the insurance uh, company again and when exactly did this happen? Yeah, she was the manager in Treasure Insurance Company and this thing happened around 20 years ago, yeah, you know. I, I know I was responsible for Claudia's death. Maybe if I get opportunity to be in heaven, I will apologize to her. Yeah, because I know she will be in heaven. She was just a sweet soul. Yeah, I need to, I need to go in and use the restroom at this point. I have to go inside. It's okay, it's okay. Let me not bore you with all these lengthy stories, okay? You told it as a story. It sounded like a story to you, like a gist. You actually acted as if you were hurt. She never bothered to look for the actual boy, the actual son of the woman you killed with your wickedness. I was so scared. I was so scared police were after me. Please, Raymond, I know I've not done well. And I know I don't have any excuse. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. No! No! I don't think I can ever forgive you for what you made me go through. Never. <laughs> Anita. Anita, my love, I am sorry. I never stopped loving you. I'm sorry that I made you to go through all that I made you to go through. I just wanted him to experience what it feels like to watch his dearly beloved go through pain and he's not able to stand in or do anything for them. Anita, please, I beg you, please. I am sorry for all I made you go through. Look, Anita, I never stopped loving you. Not even after I found out who he was. You mean the world to me. I just wanted him to feel and experience watching his loved one go through pain, go through suffering, while he's not able to do anything. Anita, I know I... I stretched the acting. I went too far.
Kamp. Boss? Uh, please, um, I need you to ask my wife to come. Sure, boss. Ma'am? Hello, ma'am. Your attention is needed downstairs, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Your presence is needed downstairs. Ma'am? Ma'am, can I step in for a minute? All right, I'm stepping in now. All right, ma'am, you Oh, shit! What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> My love, I am so sorry for what I made you to go through. I am so sorry. And all I ask for is a chance. <sighs> Even though I don't know the possibility of you accepting me back. Neither do I know the possibility of your father being in the picture because I don't think I can stand it. I can't pretend. Show me 